again with another video. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. So, this video is, what if Nixon won in 1960? So, Nixon ultimately ran for president in 60. He narrowly lost President Kennedy. Nixon then came back in 68, won against Humphrey, and then won in 72 against McGovern, and then resigned over Watergate. So what if Nixon won in 1960? So here's the map. Nixon won 219 votes. Kennedy won 303. And Harry Byrd won 15 from... Yeah, he won 8 from Mississippi, 6 from Alabama, and 1 from Oklahoma. So all of 8 went to Harry Bird, six of Alabama went to Bird, and one of Oklahoma's went to him as well, or apparently, I have no idea. Anyways, so Kennedy carried 22 states, Nixon carried 26, and if you look at this, 34.2 to 34.1 popular vote in Look at the percentages, 49.72, 49.55. This is a really, really close election. So Kennedy is senator from Massachusetts. Lyndon Johnson is senator. He is also majority leader of the Senate from Texas. Richard Nixon was Eisenhower's VP. Henry Cabot Lodge was ambassador to the United Nations. So yep, Kennedy, senator from Massachusetts, Lyndon Johnson, senator from Texas, other people who were in the in the hunt, Adlai Stevenson, he was the Democratic nominee in 52 and 56, Hubert Humphrey, Stuart Simonton, a couple others. But yeah, Nixon in 60, he was really young there. He was Ike's VP. Henry Cabot Lodge, ambassador. Nelson Rockefeller was also in the hunt as well. That would have been very fascinating. Rockefeller instead of Nixon in 1960. Yep, Ike was term limited. All right. By Kelly. Lyndon Johnson helped Kennedy take the South. Kennedy was from Northeast. So we keep going down and keep going down. Yeah, the popular vote was razor thin 49.72 to 49.55. Kind of keep going down, keep going down. Okay. I just want to say just how close this election actually was. Look at this. Hawaii was decided by 115 votes. Look at that. Three electoral college votes decided by 115 votes. Don't ever tell, don't ever let someone tell you that your vote doesn't matter because yes, it does. Illinois, 8,858 8, votes. So, 0.19. Missouri was won by 9,000 votes. This is really close. What if, what, okay. So Nixon's at 219, Kennedy's at 303. Hawaii could very well have flipped. Very well have flipped. Look at that 115 votes. Illinois could have definitely flipped. What if Nixon won Illinois? That would put him at 249. Kennedy at 273. What's the next state? Missouri. This is the tipping point state for a Kennedy win. So if Kennedy wants to win, he has to hold Missouri at 13 votes. Because if he loses Missouri... He's at 260. Nixon's at 262. And you need... This election, I think you needed... 
just 269. Yeah, 269. So neither of those, neither of the candidates got 269 because of Illinois flipped, Missouri flipped, Hawaii flipped. Nobody had 269. The Electoral College is deadlocked. And would go to the House. But then again, Kennedy might strike a deal with Byrd. You never know. So, the next state that is needed, Jersey, tipping point state if Nixon wins. How many does Jersey have? Jersey has 16. That would put Richard Nixon in the White House in 1960. If he flips Hawaii at 115, which is very, very possible. I want to see that, actually. 92,410, 92,295. Damn, that's kind of impressive how close that was. Hawaii flips... Illinois flips at 8,000. Okay, that's 27 votes right there. Missouri could flip. Missouri was decided by 9,000. And Jersey could be decided by 20,000. So, if Richard Nixon pulled off about 150 votes, about 8,000, about 9,000, if he pulled off about 50 or 60,000 more votes in the right places... He's in the White House. But look at that. 278. Kennedy got 244. Byrd still at 15. So, Missouri, Illinois, Jersey, and Hawaii. I think the three critical ones, though, were Missouri, Illinois, and Jersey for Richard Nixon. Those states were really close. 8,000, 9,000, 22,000. Yeah, that would have, those three states would have put Richard Nixon in the White House in 1960. How he would have handled the Soviet Union in the early 60s, I don't know. But that's very fascinating to see. Yeah, he would have 278, Kennedy would have 244, and... You only needed 269 to win in this one. So, because D.C. didn't have the electors yet. So, yeah, Nixon could have absolutely won in 1960. If he won in 1960, Watergate wouldn't have happened. That would that, That's a fascinating alternate timeline. So, with that being said, that's the video. That is... Richard Nixon winning in 1960. So, I will see you all in the next video. Thank you all so, so much for watching. And, uh, yeah. Deuces.